Camp Fam. So today we are going back memory lane because I am at my alma mater. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm currently at my primary school, which is St. Jude Catholic School. It's located like right beside Malacanang. So it's been a while since I've been here. Maybe more than 10 years, I believe. But yeah, it's bringing back so many memories, even though it looks nothing like how it looked like before. Let me show you guys. So we didn't have this before. We used to have like bulletin boards here where all the honor roll students' photos were and our grades were. So obviously this is a really competitive school and I used to always be here because I was always on the honor roll, proud to say. <laughs> This used to be where everyone did the assembly every morning. All the kids, the younger kids would be here. The older kids would be right outside their classrooms. But this is super leveled up already. During my time, it looked nothing like this. And then during dismissal time, kids would always be playing basketball, running around. The faculties used to be here, but it doesn't seem like they're there anymore. Oh my gosh, it looks so different. We also didn't have these like pampaganda. There was nothing aesthetic about our school before. It was all business, no aesthetics. But yeah, now they really fixed it. You can see all the classrooms there. I think it's still the same staircase. I would tour you guys around even more with the classrooms and stuff, but I am legit scared of going around by myself because we've got a lot of horror stories in this school. And I truly believe it because we've experienced it also. But the main reason that I'm here really is because I am participating in our alumni interviews. We're actually celebrating the 60th anniversary of St. Jude Catholic School. So they're putting together this alumni video that they'll be showing on their digital platforms, I guess. And so yeah, oh my gosh, it's been so long. The legendary Father Peter Yang. He's the second ever director of our school. And he's the director of the school when I first came to the school. He was very well loved. And I think he's the reason why the school was so strict as well. A lot of our values came from Father Peter Yang. But our school is really super strict. I remember whenever people would hear, oh, you came from St. Jude Catholic School, like out of all the Filipino Chinese schools, people always know that, oh, we're very studious, very good at math and Chinese. <laughs> and we also didn't really participate in a lot of like outside school competitions. It was only during the latter years that we were allowed to join these competitions because now we're so strict, we're super sheltered. <laughs> so it's actually very surprising to come from this school and to be in the industry that I'm in. We're very few. Tim, Tim Yap is actually one of the very few fellow Judenites, that's what we're called, that I've met in the industry. So combi lang naman because now we're so like so reserved and most of us are introverts. So yeah, who would have thought? We're now gonna check out the auditorium. It looks the same still from the outside. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Brings back so many memories because I used to perform all the time. Lahat ng performances nandun ako. So let's see what it looks like inside. The auditorium looks the same. It actually burned down when I was still in grade school ba or preschool. I can't remember. It was a huge thing. But they renovated it and ever since they renovated it, I don't think they changed much. They changed very little. It still looks very the same. So we weren't like the other schools where Saturdays were off. Ours were Thursdays off. So that's why you don't see much students now here because it's actually a Thursday today. So I remember we used to always rehearse Wednesdays after school, Thursdays after PE, and Saturdays after school. So I was practically in school for so many hours. But I loved it because I I was with my friends. My bestest friends were actually all part of the dance troupe and the cheer dancing and the performers. So yeah, I always say that I'm a shy girl. I really am a shy girl. But when it comes to performing, I'm not shy. I love performing. And so yeah, this is really where I discovered my passion for passion for the arts, artista. But now we're walking around the corridors. You will see those are the classrooms. I'm brave to go now because my ma kasama ko. But as I've told you, I won't go walking around here alone. Cause my mumu talaga sa school namin. I swear. Oh, tina mo omo sila. So there. The higher floors, high school yan, senior year. And I remember when I was still like a young girl, grade school pa, I was always so intimidated by these two floors. And now, alam ko, aircon na yata lahat ng classrooms. Nung panahon ko hindi pa, parang only some classrooms. And I think only like high school classrooms and everyone else had to suffer in the heat. Pero ngayon, asenso na pusin. Tapos, these are the bridges that would connect the classrooms to like the common areas. And I remember, yung mga pakul na boys would always hang out here and they would spot the girls there, sa mga corridors. Hmm, high school liga one, set. Oh my gosh, it's the same. These are the grade school classrooms. We're still very much old school. Yan din nagdag nila because before we used to have like loose boards and we would put Manila paper on the loose boards and those were the ones that we would attach onto the blackboards. And I remember we used to design these bulletin boards before. Why don't we change it every now and then? I used to be always assigned to change it because I was a class president for a lot of years. Oh my gosh, everything looks the same. This is amazing. I really never thought I'd come back here because I live so far away already. So I'm thankful for this video experience. 
experience because I was, you know, encouraged to come back here. But oh my gosh. Ay, parang may loose board pa. Ay, these are the loose boards. Oh, oh, these are the loose boards still. So that the teachers don't have to write it again. They will just put the loose boards there onto the blackboard. Hmm, still the same. And those are the lockers. Like, the cleaning materials are placed there. Or no, actually, the cleaning materials are placed here. Right beside the blackboard. Let's see if it's still here. Hindi po, props na siya. I think this is their art classroom. Wow! So talented! Hi! Mama! Look up! You took mommy's photo, so come on! Every face with every face? Sad face. Wait, the mommy check first, okay? How about my mommy doesn't have space? Plenty. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? Let's tell camera. What's this? We are packing Sienna's birthday giveaways for her classmates. Right, my love? So we have here some boxes. So I had these busy books made by Marcus and Mommy because I love them so much when <laughs> when Sienna used them when we were abroad. So they have different versions. So this is for boys and this one's for girls. And it's basically a self-care busy book that I chose for them. So they're all personalized. So they have here the name of the classmate and then they have all these different Velcros. They're really useful. I think they're really great activity books. And then they also all come with these whiteboard marker type of pens so that they can also draw on these pages and you could just use these erasers to erase. See? And then they also have, for boys, a different version of for boys. Ta-da! So cute. I really wanted for Sienna's birthday giveaways, I wanted some really useful stuff so that the mommies and the daddies would also be happy. I didn't want to just give like toys. I wanted, you know, stuff that they can actually learn from and, you know, keep them busy with. I also bought a bunch of these sticker books on the Zara. So they're reusable stickers that you can stick all over this book. So I bought two different versions, one animal and one for insects. That's my favorite this one. Yeah, you have it also in your room already. My That's love. my favorite. That's good. I'll put the link down below for these. And then I also got these insulated lunch bags for Sienna's classmates. So I got different versions also for the girls and the boys. So this one is for the girls and this one is for the boys. So I chose the bunny for the girls. Because Sienna really loves bunnies. And then I chose dinosaurs for the boys. These are by Little Bog on Instagram. I also got some cutlery sets for the kids. And they're also all personalized. Also from Little Bog. Oh, this is a food. Yeah. It's Sienna's favorite. I got them also mood food kids because Yoni really wanted to give like healthy treats for the kids, like none of those like junk food. So got them these as well. Okay. You said you wanted to help mommy pack, right? Okay, so here, so this one. Okay. And then you put this inside. How can you put everything here? It will fit, you'll see. And then you put this one. Puzzle that I got oh, also from I Lazada. Mommy has a special gift for you. That's why you don't have a puzzle. But mommy will only show it to you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. I love you. I love you. Thank you. You're welcome. All packed. Really find these so cute. And I love that they're insulated. So they're not just cute bags, but they're actually useful. These don't fit, so I'll just hand them together with those. But so friggin' cute. And that is it. I'm off to put Sienna Bob to sleep. And tomorrow is a brand new day. Hello, hello, everyone. We are currently at my sister's place preparing for... What are we preparing for? A wedding. And what are you gonna be, my love? Okay. A flower girl, but you're also a birthday girl, right? Because today is your birthday. How old are you? Three years old. <laughs> Three years old, that's but correct. What's your, your old? What size is you? You know how old is mommy? Mommy is currently 35 years old. How old you, Leia? My age review. I want to take a and make a wish. Like, what do you wish for? Okay. Okay, I'll close your eyes. Wish and blue. Yay! Yay! Good morning, Camp Fab. 
Um, today is a brand new day. I know yesterday's part of the vlog was so short. I wasn't able to take videos of us during the wedding because narag. And also, Sienna wasn't feeling super duper well. But anyway, today is Sienna's official birthday celebration because she was a flower girl nga yesterday on her birthday. So, I just invited a few friends over, like maybe two of Sienna's friends and then their parents. And then later on this afternoon, my parents someone will also come and her aunties or my aunties. So, it's her grand aunties. So, it's really just a small celebration and just doing things that Sienna loves. I got like a setup here and then there are also some activities for them to do. So we got, I think she'll really love because she's been doing this with the bear figurines. Like you know the DIY painting thing where you get to paint your own bear figurine. Except this time, I found a bunny one. It's by Party Project that I found on Instagram. And they came in these really nice kits already. So it's also nice if you want to make them into like giveaways. I think they're really really handy and the kids will play with them later. And then I also got some DIY like cupcake decorating. They're all bunny themed because it's also almost Easter Sunday and Sienna also requested for her party to be bunny themed because she loves bunnies. So we got that from Cupcake Lab which has been celebrating with Sienna every year. So I really really love Cupcake Lab. They're very easy to talk to. These kits are also for purchase I think but they just personalized it for Sienna's party but they also have some Easter kits coming up. And then they also made Sienna's huge cake with a tiny little Sienna on top which is super duper cute. And then I got like a wet inflatable for the kids to like swim in because I feel like the pool might be too cold for them. At least yon hindi sila magkakasakit. Concerned bum, but you know. And just like a home cooked lunch for everyone. And hopefully, Sienna will really have fun. If you're wondering where the father is, he is off to a bachelor's party with Maggie. He had to do some groomsman duties. And so, yeah, we forgive him. <music> Today, my love. Birthday. Your birthday party. Who's coming? Right. Right. Uh, yeah. What are you looking at, my love? What do you see? Do you see a bunny? A bunny on the cake. On the cake. Do you like your cake? Mommy, I want to eat it now. You want to eat it now? Let's blow it first and take photos with it, okay? We'll put your cake there. Are you ready? Baba, <laughs> ako <laughs> sinabi mo. Yeah, yeah, finalize. Okay, ready? Hindi po stage mother ang meron si Sienna. Stage auntie. <laughs> Did you have fun with Riley and Emilia? Yeah. 
Is it still your favorite thing about your birthday? What's your favorite thing about today, my love? Um, it's pink. Itchy and, and the pool. Mm-hmm. And the slide also. Yeah. Mommy's mm-hmm. happy you're happy. Why is it? Mommy loves you so much. Mommy hopes that you enjoyed your birthday and that you're happy, happy today. I hope that you felt the love. And I hope that you had fun. Mommy loves you. Yeah. Oh, big hug now, ready? Oh, I love you forever.